the near point, the smallest distance at which an object can be seen clearly, and the far point, the largest distance at which object can be seen clearly, are measured for six different people. Which, if any of these people, are nearsighted, which would require bifocals, which would require converging lenses, and so forth. All right, good question. So let's just take a few examples and let's see what we can determine. Okay, what we said before was the closest point you can focus, that's the near point. Okay, and what do we mean by that? Well, here's our eyeball. Put the object here, and if it's there, then it comes to a focus on the back of the retina. That distance is your near point. Okay? The farthest distance that you can measure is, of course, called your far point. And for normal eyes, that is infinity. Okay? But if your eyes are not normal, then it's some other distance. Okay, and it's always relative to the lens of your eye, so this would be the far point. Okay, and that would come into focus on the back of your eyeball as well. Now, you can change the near point by adjusting your crystalline lens in your eyeball. So when you squeeze on that lens, it gets a little more bulbous, increases its focusing power, and that allows you to see things close. Seeing things far away is when your eye is relaxed. Okay, so when you relax the muscles, the ciliary muscles that are crushing that crystalline lens, when those are relaxed, then that's your far point. Okay. So, let's take a look at the first person. The first person was Avishka, is her name, and they had a near point of 40 centimeters and a far point of infinity. Okay. So, when you consider people that are nearsighted, they are not able to see out to infinity. Right? If they can see out to infinity, then they are farsighted. Likewise, if they can't see anything close, then they are farsighted, not nearsighted, where the close point is about 25 centimeters. Okay? So this person right here is farsighted. Okay? The next person, Bernice, has D near of 30 centimeters and a D far of 300 centimeters. Okay. So that person is interesting because they can see something relatively close, not quite 25 centimeters, but they certainly can't see far away. And I would suspect that they would satisfy the question for part B, which is they might need bifocals to correct their vision. Okay. Since they can't see far away, I would also put them in the category of nearsighted, meaning when they drive, they need negative lenses so they can see out to infinity. Okay? If you can't see to infinity, then you need negative lenses, you are nearsighted. If you can see to infinity, you are certainly farsighted. All right, and then there's a few more questions that continue. But basically the idea is this, if d far is less than infinity, you are nearsighted. Okay. 
if d near is bigger than 25 centimeters, then you are going to need reading glasses or positive lenses. Positive is another word for converging lenses. Okay. And that 25 centimeters was solely picked basically on the length of your arm, where is a comfortable reading distance, and so they picked 25 centimeters for that.